long history here. And listen, I, and I said this last night. I'll say it again. I will say it to the day I die. I like Jim. He's a good man. He's a smart man. I appreciate his service. But, you know, it, this, is a, this is a two-year repeating cycle. You say one thing while you're here during election year, and then you do another thing while you're down here. You go down to D.C., you sit, you hide under the desk, and you do what you're told by the president. It happens again and again and again, and it just happened again with the Iran deal. It happened again with the, with the, uh, the, the trade deal with Israel, where you, you voted no against BDS and limitations. I, it just blows my mind. It, hap it happens on infrastructure here at home. It happens on world affairs away. And I know you take this seriously. Don't, don't think that I don't think you take this seriously. I know you do. Because you're a good, like I said, you're a good man. But, you, you know, you're on the Intelligence Committee. These are not intelligence decisions. These are not intelligence decisions. You cannot turn your back on Israel time and time again and give Iran $150 billion plus $4 million in ransom. We had a bill last week, two weeks ago, to try and stop, to, to actually track some of the assets of some of these the Iranian folks, some of the Iranian assets. So if we have to attach them, we can attach them. Jim voted no on that, too. We've got $2 billion of judgments against the regime in Iran based on terrorist activities in U.S. court systems. Two billion bucks. About 92 lawsuits in our federal courts. We had the, we had the assets. He just gave them away. So what are we doing? We're, so not only are we turning our backs on Israel, we're turning our backs on Americans who actually have been harmed by Iran and had judgments against Iran. So that their money's gone. The control, the control over their nuclear system, maybe it's been slowed. Maybe. Good. I hope you're right. I hope you're right. But you know what? Common sense, you violated common sense, you violated your constituents' wishes, and you violated the Constitution of supporting that Iran deal.